Uh, I'm, I'm back in the card shop. I'm back in the card shop for this one. I, uh, I felt like making this video right now. I, I felt like it. I felt very strongly about the topic for today's video. And I thought doing the card shop might even add a bit of extra appropriateness to things. I've been here in a while, you know? And I'm doing like a big kind of sort clean here and everything is in disarray right now. And that's okay. Cause that's how I feel about Bandai's latest announcement. And no, I am not talking about the, uh, how the Digifest thing isn't, or the Bandai Fest thing isn't in Europe and Oceania. That does suck. And I genuinely feel bad for anyone that lives in those areas because they keep getting screwed by Bandai. That's not what we're here to talk about today, though. No, no, no. Today we're here to talk about the the regional news and the national news and all that fun stuff. I have sat for a few days digesting this information, thinking about it, uh, and just trying to come across it from every possible angle that makes sense. Trying to get my opinion in some kind of articulate way that makes sense instead of random rambling. I could have uploaded a response video on Friday. I could have done that. But I thought to myself, no, I'm gonna take some extra time. I'm gonna really, really think this through and I make sure that what I have to say makes sense before I go ahead and upload it. So before you guys hear my opinion on it, and by the way, I did a quick little 30 minute stream on Thursday talking about it a little bit. So you might know what my opinion is, but before you know what I'm gonna say in this video, if you guys have an opinion one way or the other, please leave it in the comments. I am excited to hear what you think. Do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? Why or why not? And uh, in case you guys live on a pineapple under the sea or a rock and don't know what I'm talking about, um, Bandai announced that for their regionals, not just Digimon, but One Piece 2, Bandai regionals, um, you do not need an invite anymore to go to nationals. And if you did get a regional invite, um, as in top 16 at a regional, you get uh, a two round buy to uh, start the nationals off. And you also get priority registration for whatever that's worth. I don't think there was an issue signing up for nationals last year. So I don't think that part really matters. It's really a two round buy that, um, you know, is getting people all titillated and excited. So that's the news. Um, I'm going to talk about everything so first of all the the community has an overwhelming positive response to this they think you know what this is great anyone can go and play nationals and if you did get a a regional invite well okay two round buys is pretty cool you know and like to be fair you know i got my regional invite the first regional of the freaking season i think and uh you know it was really really cool and now you know at, at least i have the option you know wake up two hours later not rush to the venue you know sleep in a little bit or maybe i still wake up at normal time and go to duncan but then when i'm done at duncan i get a second duncan because i have time to do that now you know what i mean so i understand the appeal of the two round buy I, I i understand why people like it it's like whatever Yu-Gi-Oh was kind of doing it but it was way 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 harder to get buys in the ycs's way harder difficult because they were from their UDS events, and you had like win a belt, and it, it, you know, it, big events, bigger events. Yeah, whatever. The buy is cool. Okay, let's talk about the implications to this. Let's talk about this in a reasonable, logical manner. I am personally, I'm somewhere in the middle of in between, and not a fan of the changes. I'm somewhere in that middle ground. There are some people that are ve uh, vehemently despising this. Like, it's the worst news they've gotten since, you know, World War II. And, and, you know, that's okay. It's, it, it's definitely controversial. It's definitely really, really interesting. So, why might Bandai have done what they've done? Well, for starters, it makes us kind of even with the rest of the world, right? Because, like, Europe, Oceania, all those places, they don't have regional invites to nationals. It's just play regionals oh you go nationals cool go whatever have fun so it kind of falls more in line with that um i'm gonna tell you what i don't like i was really excited for nationals this year 
I'm excited first of all because it's January, so I can actually go not the last week of February when everyone's taxes are due. But that, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. So I was really excited that it was in January. I didn't really care where it was. Uh, I was really excited that Bandai announced the store championships weren't doing um, invites anymore. I was like, okay, so Bandai isn't really increasing the number of regionals. Sure, invites passed down, so 16 people get an invite every time. Okay, whatever, fine. What's really interesting is I was looking forward to a hyper-competitive nationals. Like, the people that are good enough, in quotes, to get top 16 out of regionals. You know, or the people that just keep playing regional to regional to regional to try to get in. The sweaty people. I was a really big fan of the nationals where a bunch of sweaty men or women would have been there and just sweating all over each other to try to win nationals and go get an invite to worlds. That concept was really exciting to me. That made me really excited. Because I was like, all right, it's a bunch of people on the same plane. Things are going to get crazy. It's going to be, it's going to feel like a competitive one piece event. It's, it's, it's great. Really cool stuff. And then they made this announcement. And then my heart immediately sank. I got depression. Um, I ate half a dozen donuts because I was just, I was sad. My, my dream for the perfect nationals in my eyes disappeared. A two round buy does not make up for the emotional distress that I went through the, the Thursday they announced this stuff. Some of you might think, well, what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you what the big deal is. So, I've seen some people talk about this where, like, some random Joe Blow can now roll in and win Nationals. You know what I mean? Some Someone could show up and play Wargrame on high roll all day and just win Nationals. And uh, I say Wargrame on because if you guys... Red BT14 War Greymon. Have you read that, those Algamon Greymon cards? Yeah. You don't think that's going to be Tier 1 for Nationals? Okay, sure. Anyway. But that's the... So so people... I, I think the community is misunderstanding certain parts of this. And I've seen it on, like, Twitter and whatever. So I want to, I wanna, like, solidify this take real quick. I think people are telling the people who got invites to just get good and not lose... To some random Joe Blow that didn't get their invite. If you got your invite, I, I, I get that feel, and I've seen that floating around the internet. Um, and it's not about that. It's really not about that. And I'm just staying away from those conversations because it's fairly toxic for like no reason. But me personally, when I'm sitting down at a competitive event, I don't care who you are. I don't give a fuck. I don't care if you're some multi Bandai event winning person like I am. Or you're some little John Doe from Foxville, Fuckland in the States. I don't care who you are. I will treat you the same, and I will destroy you regardless. Or at least attempt to. That, that's my personality. That's who I am. I don't care who you are. I will treat you the same as anyone else when you're sitting across from me at that table. And I will beat you. And I, I will beat you. So there's, there's that. So, like, I don't want to hear that argument from people in the comment section or on the internet or anything because it doesn't really matter. It's, it's a mute point. And I say it's a mute point because of something else that people brought to my attention. And this was mostly the One Piece players, so I'll give a shout-out to Jackson and, I think, Cross for this one. There's, um... People are saying that because of the way that Bandai tiebreakers and pairings and events work, they're thinking that the people that have the two-round buys will get paired against each other for as long as possible because of the, how they're weighted. And um, on top of that, so, so what that does is it creates, you got your people over here on this side with your two round buys. You got your people over here that have to sweat for the two rounds because they didn't get an invite. So these people are eventually going to like knock each other out, whatever, meet at the top. And then you're going to get your triangle of top 32 or whatever. That's going to be still probably a higher chunk of these people, but you're going to get these people in here too. If everything was like weighed evenly, I think it'd be less of a problem, in my opinion. But I, this, this part is complete speculation. I do not know. I have not scientifically or mathematically proven this. So if someone has, please advise in the comments. I don't know. But there's that. 
I think that is um, important. I think that's very important to understand. So, moving right along to other parts about this. Um, what I also don't like is how Bandai handled this. Bandai got everyone all riled up this year. Because they said, no store championship invites. You have to play at regionals. The thing about companies, big companies, and I assume Bandai did this, everything is planned in advance. I bet they had up until January's Nationals 2024 planned at last year's Nationals. I bet. Or, or close enough, anyway. It would be foolish to me to assume that a, band, that a company like Bandai is only going month by month by month. So what bothers me is Bandai, let the community get riled up on this. Just to say, oh, haha, <laughs> never mind, lol, it's okay, you can go anyway. That sucks. Like, people got wound up over those announcements. People said, fuck this, I'm not playing Digimon anymore because of those announcements. And it made regionals kind of a little more sweatier. Sort of. Sort of. To start the thing off. Because you couldn't... So again, some... I don't want to keep using words like Joe Blow. But some random dude could go to his small little store championship and because he gets along with the store owner, or I'm not accusing him of anyone doing this, but maybe people that get an invite are the people that shouldn't have invites. You know what I mean? So, and, and people got upset by that. People were like, I can't play in regionals because they're on the weekends and I work weekends or I hate online events because there's no one person regionals or whatever. And people got really, really salty, and the people that were still playing grinded really, really hard. All right, so, I think it's shifty. But it goes a step further than this now. I think this is actually really, really bad for competitive play. Why? Well, that's a great question, Mar. I'm glad you asked. So, I don't want to word this. I, if you can tell, I'm totally, like, freeballing this. I have my points in my head. I didn't write a script or anything. I hardly ever do that. If regionals don't matter anymore, what will people actually sign up for regionals? Going into the remainder of the 2023 regionals and then starting a new season 2024, assuming everything stays the same, what incentive do people actually have to play regionals? That's a question I'm asking generally to the audience, to you guys, to just in general. Like what the the regional pricing has been shit this year. It's been garbage. Uh, I don't even remember what my top eight regional pricing was from the fucking regional I topped with Ancient Raymond because I don't I don't remember. His board is worthless. It is garbage. So like, shout out the Bandai for like at least giving us alt arts and slightly better cards this time for this wave of regional pricing. Okay, but like. Unless Bandai really fixes the prizing for regionals, what is the incentive? I know that I'm not going to grind and sign up for regionals way in advance this year. Like I did, like I did this year, I signed up for all the re like three regionals in advance because I wanted to just at least I thought to myself, and three regionals, I'll get my invite, no problem. I did it in one, so that, that was fine, but. Are people going to have the same mentality where instead of a, reg of a regional invite to national, it's just a two-round buy for nationals? I don't think as many people are going to lose their minds. Like this like this year, where people were told, you have to get a regional invite because there's no store championships anymore. It's not going to be the same. People are not going to sign up. Regional numbers, maybe not in the start of 2024, assuming nothing changes, will have an all-time low. Okay. That's what I think. So I don't see how that's good for competitive play. I really don't. You know, regionals used to be these really prestigious things, right? You, you, the event capped at 512 people. You had to get top 16. And by, by the way, people were really pissed about that too. Like, if these regionals are filling up, why not make it top 32 or top 48 or 64 like Yu-Gi-Oh does? Or you know what I mean, whatever. So like to get top 16 in a 500 man event was a task. You had to play nine rounds probably and you had to do well now you don't and now you think we're gonna get maxed regional signups you think really you, you really think so i i'm hoping i'm wrong and i'm hoping bandai does something to really incentivize regionals 
because a two round buy is not going to get people wound up enough to say I have to play in regionals you don't have to do anything you don't have to do anything you don't have to do it no nope. you don't have to do it so I think Bandai is shooting themselves in the foot I think the way they handled this year's regional stuff with this announcement is going to put a negative spin on things futuristically speaking what else do I was there another point I can't remember if there's another point or not I think I've said everything I need to say I don't think the two round buy matter I think the two round buy is a nice little thing like a little yeah pat on the back good job from Bandai I don't think it matters I can't remember the last time I've lost two rounds I saw an argument on the internet somewhere I can't remember where it's two rounds you don't have to fight road decks like who, who cares you know who cares seriously who cares there's that uh there's the future implications of regionals now ultimate cups will now be more competitive events which by the way people aren't getting turned on about either because of people getting really sick of monocolor events and then people uh, bandai's gonna fix that too by the way and they also gotta fix the ultimate cup pricing because that sucks for people right now it's a bunch of unplayable cards these galmon cards you can't they're, they're garbage they're bad and whatever um guys that's, that's a different tangent i'm not gonna go there today yeah i think i've said everything i need to say about this i am not a fan i was a fan of the sweaty hyper competitive what was looking like nationals 2024 and i'm not happy that bandai took it away i am not happy that bandai left this announcement until the last part of the year basically after people were expressing discomfort and anger and all that throughout the full throughout the last six months basically people were not happy about that and bandai was just you know just doing whatever and uh, i think the future implications for regionals are kind of dim assuming nothing changes if things change i will probably end up being wrong but that's why i'm caveating it because it's um, they could change they could change the pricing they could make the pricing actually worth it the participation pricing actually worth it and uh, it will be fine yeah I think that's it I think I've said everything I need to say about this topic um, I will reiterate that the majority of people find this announcement to be nothing but good news and I'm very happy for you if you think it's good news at the end of the day you know what I, I'm more about the community, the, the community than anything else which is why I, I do this in the first place if I cared only about myself, I would not be making YouTube videos and Twitch streams and whatever. I would just be running my accounting business, maximizing it, making six figures a year just from that alone and calling it a life. I, that's what I would do. But, you know, I like the community aspect of Digimon and met some really cool people from it and blah, 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 whatever. So if you're happy from this news, I am happy for you. I am. Like, do not misunderstand me. Do not cross straws here. Do not do anything. I'm happy for you. If you're happy I'm ha if the community is overall happy then I'm overall happy but am I Mario Felice two-time Bandai champion from Mario's gaming world am I happy about it I'm not but nothing in the world can please everyone we live in a world where there no matter what happens in the world at any point in time for anything at all anywhere forever and always in the past and the future there will always be anywhere from a tiny amount of people to a mass amount of people that are not happy because we live in a world where not everyone get pleased and that's that's the sad reality um you know existence is nothingness nothing lasts forever uh everything lives everything eventually dies uh everything goes circular nothing none of this means anything anyway because this is all paper cards in a paper world that will one day cease to exist anyway but all we can do is uh make what we have matter in the short term and make our lives worth it i feel like a really depressing way to end the video i'm just gonna stop uh, i think that's enough for today that's good no worries that's it for today bye guys see you later